What's up, fishing family? This is part two to the episode I had before of the catch and cook with a huge founder. Y'all remember that founder? That's beautiful right there. Well, I'll leave a link in the description so y'all can check out the video. But I had a fillet up. My wife don't like to see a fish hole. I really wanted to make a stuffed flounder out of that flounder. It hurts me, guys. But I tell you this. My wife, one of these days, is going to have to take one for the team, and we're going to make a stuffed flounder, and it's going to happen. Well, today, we're going to make flounder. Ah, uh, let's just get to it. I'll show you guys. Come on. So here's about half of that flounder I had. I had it soaking in some alkaline water overnight. I love me some alkaline water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up and get into some portions to uh, prepare to cook up in the pan. All done. This is what I want. Nice thin piece. It's going to cook up. Real easy. The thick pieces, I fillet them in half. And we're gonna fry them up in butter. We'll get the seasoning and coating ready. I'll put some breadcrumbs. You can put any kind of breadcrumbs you want. Flour. A little bit of salt to taste. Maybe a little bit more flour. We should have enough for all the pieces. Garlic. Maybe some pepper. Some chupacabra steak seasoning. Cayenne pepper. I'm gonna go stir. Got the broccoli ready. Put a little butter in there. Just gonna boil it real quick for a bit. Now I got some pasta. I'm gonna get the pasta ready. Getting some water boiling. I'm not gonna dry them out. I'm just gonna leave them soaking. I'm just still in some of that alkaline water. And drop them in there. Flounder tastes good as it is, so I'm not gonna season the meat itself. Just the outside. All nice and done. I think the pan's ready for butter also. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. We'll do half olive oil, half butter. Before you flip them, I'm gonna add a little more butter. Get my spatula spatch ready. Oh, the spatula spatch. Give it a little flip. Oh, nice and brown and toasty, guys. Pretty. Woo! Look at that. Oh, the spatula spatch. Woo! Toasty. Pasta's boiling. 
while she's cooking. Got one more green to add in the bake. Whew, think about ready. Yeah, nice and toasty. Nice and brown and toasty. Pasta's done. Just empty out the pan. Now I'm gonna add some Alfredo sauce and warm it up. Meanwhile, in the back, my broccoli is pretty much cooked up. I'm gonna turn that off. Chop this broccoli up a little bit. I'm gonna add it to the Alfredo sauce. Now to add the rest of the pasta, if it fits. Whoa! Oh, we got it in there! Heck yeah. Thought I was gonna need a bigger pot. Now I'm gonna give it a nice little stir and get everything all nice and mixed up. Get this final cook together. Oh, look at this! Looking juicy! Woo! My mouth is already watering, guys. There. Add a little bit of green beans. I'm gonna let them close up and get nice and steamed up. Then I add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of garlic. The butter already has enough salt and we'll just set that cook up. Try to get a lid on it and we'll get them steamed out. They're cooking on real low right now. Alright, guys, these green beans are now officially done. They're steamed with their own with their own juices, I guess you could say, with their own liquids. I didn't have to add any water, just left the butter in there and they cooked themselves. Final product. Flounder, Alfredo, with some broccoli, and some green beans. Can't go wrong with too many greens. Just missing the salad. What you guys think about that Alfredo? I'm gonna sit here and tear this plate up. Y'all please leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe don't forget, I'll leave a link in the description for the video I caught this flounder in. This is South Texas Fishing Fam. We out.